this fly tying video. Today we're tying a clean camera special. The hook I'm using is the Daiichi clean camera hook, size 14. And the thread is the Unifred 8 out in 10. And we'll start by running down the thread to the point of the hook and then back up half the way. Then we can cut off your foot. Then we can cut off the thread. And for the post I'm using some white polypropylene yarn. And the way I tie it in is to come in under with the yarn and then make some turns and back over to secure the post and this way it cannot be pulled out and now I'll take down the thread to where the hook is attached because you want to make the body as long as possible and for the body I use some tan dubbing and you don't want much of it but dab it onto your thread and then go up tightening the dubbing if you need to and you want to keep the body quite slim but then with a little taper to it getting a little thicker and I tie in some more There's the body finished. Now I'll change thread. So I'll just make a whip finish here. And cut off the thread. And now I use the unit thread. Trico, which is a 17 volt, and this is for the reason that will then tie in the heckle on the post, and then when we want to finish or tie off the heckle, we don't want to put too much thread on. So this is why I use this really thin thread. And now I'll tie in the hackle which is a grizzly hackle that I've already prepped taking off all the fluff at the bottom and I tie it in just in front of the post and then tie it up the post And there's our hackle tied in. You can cut off the rest piece. And now the post got a stable base and the hackle will then be easy to wind down. And for the thorax I use three peacock curls and I'll tie them in just <coughs> behind the post. And now a little trick is to wind up the pico curls counterclockwise onto your thread and then build up 
the thorax, holding the thread and the peacock curl, and winding up together this way. If one of the hurls break, it will not unwind as easily, and it makes a more durable fly. And now I come up with the thread on this side of the post, and to add some security, I put in just a drop of glue at the base of the post and now I'll wind down the post keeping each turn under the previous one and trying not to trap the fibers too much and there should be enough and then what I do is to tie off the hackle right on the post and then you can just cut off the excess and now I put some glue onto the thread finish at the base of the post. Then you can cut off your thread. Make sure all is in place and the length of the post it's up to you but it should not be too long or else the fly will float sideways so I cut it to length the length of the body There we go. And there's a Kling Camera special.